Well, this, uh, this, this expedition, the Sverus C3, is, uh, is a large program uh, centered around this expedition. It's a Swedish, Russian, US Arctic Ocean investigation uh, studying the, the couplings between the climate, the cryosphere, and the carbon cycle. So uh, the cryosphere that we're focusing on here is very much the, the subsea and coastline permafrost, of, of which most of that is centered in the East Siberian Arctic Ocean. But we're also very interested in the sea ice, in the present system, and historically. And we're interested in frozen methane, methane hydrates. We're particularly interested in, in the, uh, the mechanism and fluxes that causes the release of this strong, strong greenhouse gas. We want to increase the understanding of, of that system so that we can make predictions of how those fluxes will develop in the future. Our two different legs are complementing each other pretty much. Whereas you have the shallow areas, as Urian described, over the Siberian shelf, we're going to go a little bit further out on leg two and look more at the gas hydrate system along the slopes. We're going to look more for records, long sedimentary records, where you can study the sea ice history, and also look at the whole export of carbon from the shallow areas out to the central Arctic Ocean and uh, trying to understand all these couplings. You need, you need all the pieces. So that's why we decided this very multidisciplinary expedition that you link all these pieces and it's, it's not enough to understand one part. You need to understand them all to, to lay the whole puzzle. But uh, this, uh, this Odin-based Spherus expedition to the East Siberian Arctic Ocean is, uh, is good news on, on many different levels. It's certainly very good news for for uh, moving forward our knowledge about uh, the, the Arctic and uh, the climate interactions in a key region, this East Siberian Arctic Ocean. Uh, and it's thanks to this collaboration between Sweden, Russia, US and several other countries. It's good news for the research. It's very good news for Stockholm University and for our Bolin Center for, for climate research and uh, all the participating scientists. It uh, gives us an opportunity to to strengthen further an area where we already are reasonably strong. That is this is uh, Arctic carbon climate links and, uh, and uh, all the whole Arctic system science in a sense. Uh, so the Sphero C3 I think uh, will, will have uh, a legacy for years to come where, where many students and researchers here at Stockholm University and our collaborators worldwide will benefit from, uh, from observations taken during this expedition and samples that we bring back and that we can, can uh, investigate for many years to come. Odin is a very good and capable icebreaker to begin with. And already when they designed Odin, they had research in mind. So they made all these placements for containers, etc. So it was thought of from the beginning. And what happened then is that the research community has equipped Odin with a lot of, of uh, installations like the multi-beam echo sounder we have, etc. We have lab facilities. So we have from underneath and up from the, the community, we have con constantly developed Odin together with the owners, of course, and the Polar Secretariat. So Odin today is a, a very, very, very equ well-equipped research icebreaker. And if you compare to many other icebreakers, it's not only extremely good in the way it can go around the ice and come up into the central Arctic, it's also very, very nice to work on. It's a pleasant environment. It's one of the nicest ships I've ever been on. So you have uh, all this nice environment with high-tech equipments on that, so it makes it a very pleasant workplace.